Today we are going to continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The first book of Moses, called Genesis. Chapter 46. And Israel took his journey with all that he had, and came to Beersheba, and offered sacrifices unto the God of his father Isaac. And God spake unto Israel in the visions of the night, and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here am I. And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt for I will there make of thee a great nation. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will also surely bring thee up again, and Joseph shall put his hand upon thine eyes. And Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father and their little ones and their wives in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry them. And they took their cattle and their goods which they had gotten in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt, Jacob and all his seed with him. His sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his sons' daughters, and all his seed brought he with him into Egypt. And these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt, Jacob and his sons. Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the sons of Reuben, Hanok and Phalu and Hezron and Carmi, and the sons of Simeon, Jemuel and Jamin and Ohad and Jachin and Zohar, and Sheol, the son of a Canaanitish woman, and the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, and the sons of Judah, Ur and Onan and Shelah and Pharez and Zerah, but Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Pharez were Hezron and Hamel. And the sons of Issachar, Tola and Fuva and Job and Shimron. And the sons of Zebulun, Sered and Elon and Jalil. These be the sons of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob in Paden Aram with his daughter Dinah. All the souls of his sons and his daughters were thirty and three. And the sons of Gad, Ziphion, and Haggai, Shunai, and Esbon, Eri, and Arodi, and Areli, and the sons of Asher, Jimna, and Ishua, and Ishuai, and Beriah, and Sira their sister, and the sons of Beriah, Heber, and Malchiel. These are the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leah his daughter, and these she bare unto Jacob, even sixteen souls. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Joseph, and Benjamin. And unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, a priest of On, bare unto him. And the sons of Benjamin were Bela and Beker and Ashbel, Gera and Naaman, Ehi and Rosh, Muppim and Hapim and Ar. These are the sons of Rachel, which were born to Jacob. All the souls were fourteen. And the sons of Dan, Hushim. And the sons of Naphtali, Jazeel and Gunai and Jeza and Shillam. These are the sons of Bilha, which Laban gave unto Rachel his daughter, and she bare these unto Jacob. All the souls were seven. All the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his loins, besides Jacob's sons' wives, all the souls were threescore and six. And the sons of Joseph, which were born him in Egypt, were two souls. All the souls of the house of Jacob, which came into Egypt, were threescore and ten. And he sent Judah before him unto Joseph, to direct his face unto Goshen. And they came into the land of Goshen. And Joseph made ready his chariot, and went up to meet Israel his father to Goshen, and presented himself unto him. And he fell on his neck, and wept on his neck a good while. And Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art yet alive. And Joseph said unto his brethren, and unto his father's house, I will go up and show Pharaoh, and say unto him, My brethren and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are come unto me. And the men are shepherds, for their trade hath been to feed cattle. And they have brought their flocks and their herds, and all that they have. And it shall come to pass, when Pharaoh shall call you, and shall say, What is your occupation? That ye shall say, Thy servant's trade hath been about cattle from our youth even until now, both we and also our fathers. That ye may dwell in the land of Goshen, 
for every shepherd is an abomination unto the Egyptians. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.